Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, thanks for clicking through. Got a work order here for a chill water air handler and the area is too cold. So currently it's 62 degrees in there and I have confirmed with energy management that it is also 62 degrees. So uh, we're gonna get into this and see why. It seems like it's stuck full cool. Alright, so first thing, this is a face and bypass. Looks like bypass is closed, face is open. These air handlers aren't that old. Surprised they're having a problem. And our chill water valve looks like it's mostly open. So let's see, what we got 52 returning. We have a supply here. And they're roughly 45. So, all right. Let's get the meter out and see who's supposed to be doing what. All right, so we can assume we got power here. We got some lights blinking. Five volts AC. I believe the chill water valve is going to be probably further down on these outputs. Let's see. That's going to be in DC. Let's see if what we've got at the, the water valve. All right, so we can see here. What is our water valve voltage? Um, so this should be 24 volts. AC that powers that Polimo and the white wire will be our signal. So now we'll just confirm we got power all around. that or not. We've got 25 volts. And checking our valve signal. We've got 6.6 .6 volts. So let's see if that corresponds to that output that I had going on. That's showing 7.3, five, there it is, 6.6. .6. So we are actually this output here. Okay. So this would be a zero to 10 and we'll call that about three quarters open there. I mean, it's more than a more than halfway open. A little over half. All right, let's go check the face and bypass damper. All 
right, so here's our junction for face and bypass actuator. So we'll check for our voltages here. AC volts, we have 25, get there, our DC signal to the actuator, 1.9, and that was pretty much wide open, so let's see if this is just stuck. Something, yeah, you can feel that actuator is trying to move. So what is stuck? All right, so what I'm gonna do is loosen this up. I'm gonna put a little scratch mark where I'm at. All right, so let's take that loose and See what's seized up in there. Alright, so just make sure the actuator it's pretty free. So I don't think the actuator's bad. Used to be moving. Something's definitely been done with the damper linkage. Let hmm. me pull the filters out. bypass is opening so really just that stuff okay, right there. It's spinning on the shaft let's try that again It's tight coming back that way. I guess we'll try to lube this thing up. I don't feel like they're binding there. So I was able to locate some silicone spray, so let's shut this thing off and uh, this is just as easy as <laughs> lubricating some dampers. So.
So first of all, I mean, they don't look that dirty. I mean, they have a little bit of dust. Let's just see what this does. This is supposed to be no odor. VOC compliant. Shouldn't attract too much dirt. Let's see if that does anything. Just I'll hit it while they're in this position too. nylon inserts are there. Okay, that's the position we were stuck in before. Let's just see if we can move it from here. They still bind it. There it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and just lock this back down while we got it off and the face is closed. Bypasses 100% open right now. So. Double check our signal. Still at two volts. So this must be two to ten. So alright. Let's kick it back on. Let's see what happens here. Alright, so I went ahead and just manually opened it. Just used the release on the actuator. And we're moving. So I think uh, we were just stuck like Chuck. Need a little attention. So now our bypass is open, the face is closing. So this should start to warm up the space. There we 
we're at now 66, so slowly but surely. Uh, the building just became occupied, so expect the temperature to start rising quicker. All right, so I've got it locked down now. Um, we're still 66 degrees. The face is closed, bypass is open 100%. And these are good and tight. Signal-wise, we're still probably on that two votes because I haven't seen it move. Yep, yeah, 1.9. So, just gonna take a little time. All right, so right now, the water valve has got bypass closed and it's open, and our signal should match what we've got here. Nine point nine volts. So, but the then bypass. Uh, so it, it's waiting. It's ready. So as soon as that starts to modulate open, it will start to pull the space. We are at sixty-eight, and the supply is also corresponding. Still open the bypass. All right, so our temperature finally came up. It's 72. Uh, according to the energy management, set point is 72. So we hit there. Face is starting to open. Let's see if there's modulating open and our. Voltage, we have got 3 volts DC, so it looks like it's uh, doing its thing, I think I want to check that our supply temperature starts to drop. Our chill water valve is 100% open. Close enough. So I may do just a little fine tuning on these dampers. And also want to check the when it does lock to make sure it comes back. Um, I did adjust the stop up a little bit because I think it might have been just going too far and binding up. Um, I mean, it's still a possibility this actuator is getting weak, but uh, I kind of want to think it's a, just an adjustment right now. Right, so I loosened that actuator. Just going to give it a little love tap. And then we'll tighten it back down. supply is now dropping more so this should start to regulate and keep us at that 72 degrees all right I think that's gonna do it uh, 8.4 volts to the water valve <clears throat> and our damper is now back to 3.3 and you can see Temperatures are back down to 71, and that water valve, you know, it's definitely backing off some. So I think everybody's talking to each other here and communicating. Dampers are not stuck wide open, and uh, we're back in control. So this should make them happy, and they won't be freezing anymore. So. All right, that's going to do it. Appreciate y'all watching. See you in the next video. All right, my final position on the 
stop there is going to be right there before it was bottomed out so this thing was probably just wedging those dampers shut and having a hard time coming back hard time no more